You want to read this one? Sure. Uh, good afternoon. Am I speaking with a Mr. Flatty? Dear Flatty, I've got a question for you. Dear I've Sir Flabbin Tyne. Flabentine. For most of my adult life, I've been struggling with my addiction to alcohol. I've been to many AA meetings and have made good progress in some of them, but have always fallen back. It always seemed like I couldn't grow in the environment with the people there, so I would always find a new one. Recently, I went to one my wife suggested for me. She said she found it through her sister that went there and it worked beautifully for her. I found myself in the same typical meeting room, but with one big difference. There was one other person. The instructor was a gorgeous woman, probably in her early 20s, which is certainly different than what I was expecting. As I went to a couple of these, what I would call therapy sessions, it began to work somewhat, more so than any other environment. Me and the instructor began to bond, and we went to dinner one time as a progress milestone. As time went on, we began to become slightly more intimate and even made out in the meeting room one night. We began to dive deeper into our relationship and have had sex multiple times. I have been clean of alcohol for three months now, three months now, which is longer than any other attempt I've made. I have a feeling that my wife put me into this program with the intent for this to happen. But if I tell her about it and I'm wrong, she'll divorce me indefinitely. But if she did and I don't tell her, <clears throat> I'm also screwed. I also need to know what I should do logically. You guys seem like the perfect ones to help me with that. Also, I'd like to rub it in that I banged an absolute dime, nine out of ten at least. Thanks for the help. Don't fuck up my life. That's a lot of responsibility. Don't fuck up my life. You all right there, killer? Mm, what? <laughs> Do you need me to read it again? Oh, no, I need him to not write so fucking long. That was fuck. a short one. I knew, I knew. You're like, you want to read this one? I knew it was going to be fucking 47 pages long. All right. So this guy so went to AA. Don't fuck up his life. Okay, so the, I think the question is, he thinks he was tricked by his wife into fucking this mm -hmm. dime, as mm -hmm. he said. <laughs> so, my, you're wrong. Your wife didn't hook you up with somebody so you could have <laughs> sex with her. Okay, get get that out of your mind. <laughs> you, you, you just cheated on your wife. Don't try to rationalize it. <laughs> okay. So... Are we, we're treating this as a serious thing, right? Yeah. He's like, an alcoholic. We have to. <laughs> R.I.P. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you think... What if... What if his wife did try to trick him into having sex with somebody else? <laughs> and that, and that like, his wife paid that lady? Yeah, to fuck the alcoholism out of him. <laughs> Can you fuck the alcoholism out of somebody? That would be awesome if you could. Okay, you're you're probably right. So, so she probably didn't do that. <laughs> what this <laughs> what this tells me is that if this relationship with this new dime piece is keeping you sober, you probably should divorce your wife and find somebody that makes you you know, helps you live a life sober. Okay. Cuz obviously I your wife didn't and wasn't helping you. So I, I need you to be cognizant of the fact that when we give advice, mm -hmm. people do it without even a second thought. They will do exactly what we say. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have that on your conscience that you are destroying this guy's life and family? I already forgot what I said. So it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Did I take the side that he should leave his wife or no? I don't remember. <laughs> so I don't think we have to worry about it being on my conscience. <laughs> I'll be fine. Don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't don't worry about me. If I have any problems, I'll write it into your flabby and let you know. <laughs> don't do you don't you think we need more information? Because like, like okay, so if he can't quit drinking, mm -hmm. but his wife is the one that's sending him to therapy, mm -hmm. she obviously wants him to quit drinking. Right. But she obviously doesn't have the capabilities to truly help him, right? And maybe what he needs is just another connection, like another relationship. He obviously met somebody. He has a connection with them. He has a relationship with them. And that relationship is helping him not drink. Maybe that's what he needed from his wife in the first place was a better relationship. So you think it's her fault that he fucked this other lady? And it's her fault that he drinks. 
Yeah, I guess you got to leave her. I mean, <laughs> yeah. What, what else are you going to do? I mean, you don't want to ruin your life by staying with your wife. <laughs> God, I feel like we're missing something here. What are we missing? What if he just. What if he's just a shit bag? Not possible. <laughs> he sounds like a decent guy. Anybody that calls a woman a dime piece is not a decent guy. Agreed. And then he he conflicts or contradicts himself by okay, when you call somebody a dime, you're saying they're a perfect 10. Mm -hmm. And then he nine, said she nine was a nine out of, nine out of ten. <laughs> right. She's like a nickel and four pennies, man. <laughs> Maybe a wheat penny in there somewhere. <laughs> Just a little bit rare. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, if the relationship is helping you, I wouldn't tell. Uh, it depends on how hot your wife is, I guess. And if yeah, you how think. Much, how much change is your wife? That, so we need to know that. <laughs> yeah, right. If, 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 if this new chick is like a uh, relationship material. She's not. I can tell you she's not. She's hanging out in the fucking AA meetings, fucking somebody she's met for three days. Fucking an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fuck alcoholics. <laughs> That's her thing. That's her fetish. Don't let her fetishize you. <laughs> <sighs> fuck. Can, can we establish the fact that she is not a good person? She fucked a married man. Mm -hmm. They're both shit bags. That, that's what this boils <laughs> down to. <laughs> Yeah, but the wife is causing him to drink. The wife is driving him to drink, literally. That's what he said. My wife drives me to drink. Sometimes I want to hit her. That's what it said, didn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that, whatever. Did, did I not read that in there somewhere? <laughs> what, what was his fucking question? I don't ruin my life. That's all I remember. <laughs> uh, I need to know what I should do logically. You guys seem like the perfect ones to help me with that. And I'd love to rub it in that I did not bang a dime. <laughs> You rubbed a dime on your nuts. So you Lo okay? L logically, logically, go to work, mm -hmm. come home, mm -hmm. apologize to apologize to your wife for mm -hmm. cheating on her. Eh, no, don't even tell your wife about that. Logically, what you should do don't is bang people that ain't you're not married to. Logically, <laughs> logically, what you should do is just keep fucking both of them. I mean. You get, you're getting the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? As long as you can stay off the sauce, fuck two chicks. Eventually you should be able to logically bring them together and fuck them both at the same time. Yeah. So maybe they'll kiss you, each other. If they love you, you should be able to have a threesome. Right. If they love you, they'll kiss each other. Want to read the next one? <laughs>